I mean, I came here to go to school, and it was while I was when I first the summer first summer that I came that I I you know, went to the uh, Emerson Street Y because I was invited there. The Emerson Street Y uh, had an affair for the black students who were at Northwestern. And uh, we all went there and sat in a great big circle and talked about ourselves and whatnot. That affair was, was held, I guess maybe I'd been in school two or three weeks before they had it. And um, we sat around and told who we were and I have a little incident here where, um, when of course I said I was Lorraine Harrison from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And then they went around on there and there was a guy who said he was James T. Morton from Bennett College, Greensboro, North Carolina. And then later when, we, when we, the formality was over and we were socializing, and uh, he came up to me and I said to him, what do you mean you're from Bennett College? I said, Bennett College is a girls' school. <laughs> he really made me feel like two cents. He said, I teach there. <laughs> oh. And then after, uh, later on, uh, we married <clears throat> that December, and then I came back to Evanston. And I, um, uh, the entire t uh, time, that I was here, I came back and I went right back to, to school. Um, and uh, Jim and I would go to the Y, he would shoot pool and or whatever the activities were. So I was just in and out of it frequently. Uh, and it was very pleasant. I, I, it was a gathering place to meet people. Well, it was just the place where we met. Uh, that was it. And then he would, uh, and when he started, you know, coming, I was living then on Lake Street, and uh, we were dating, and we would go out, and sometimes when we went out, some of the activities were uh, at the Y, and he would take me by there. That was before we married, and that following December is when we married, and I came back to Evanston and went back to school, and he was in school, too. He was getting his doctorate while I was getting my master's. So... Um, we would just, actually, we didn't have any money. So the only place to go where you could socialize and have fun or eat some ice cream or what have you was at the Emerson Street Y. So uh, it was just a place where we went. I don't know of any other place we went during those day times when, when we were both in school except the Emerson Street Y. Most of the activities, you know, like shooting pool or whatever they were going, uh, he did, and I did most of just talking to people who were there. I don't recall that the activities were geared toward the women. Now maybe they were, but I don't recall that. I think you have to remember that when the Y was there, it, it served a, a social need for the community because there was no place else to go to hold these events. You remember that we were not at the time when many facilities were open up to blacks in this community. So, uh, and they always had, they had father and son banquets and things like that, as I recall. They had some things with women. I've had some pictures at home or something related to that. So, I don't think that any, I don't remember any negative talk about uh, being there uh, because we had no other place to go. Uh, we were just all very happy to go there and enjoy whatever we, whatever happened. Now, I have to tell you something else you are missing. They've had some very good directors at that Y. Who, uh, uh, one I knew, uh, Mr. Hummins, who was a director of the Y here. He later went south and became a director of a Y of, of the YMCA in um, the Greensboro, North Carolina. Ted Boyd was there, a vibrant young man, full of energy and vitality. Um, and then if you recall, after the, and I don't know the, the politics around this, I don't know what really happened, where the Y was closed and the building was bought 
I think it was Hare Krishna's, if I'm not mistaken. And the Hare Krishna's, uh, I guess the reason why they were so prominent in our minds was because of the clothing that they wore. Uh, if they had just worn regular clothing, I think we would never have paid too much attention to them. Um, never. That was just wit. I, I don't know of any other way to talk about that. Now, but as integration came, then the other why opened up to blacks in the community. And of course, they had much better facilities uh, there. So I guess it would be natural for those people who were into activities offered by the Y gravitated toward the YMCA that we now have on Grove Street. But uh, they, uh, and they did, I, I never went to that one for any type of of uh, socialization during the, the, my younger days. I, I don't recall anything there. Uh, because um, after finishing school, I left and then didn't come back until uh, 53. So I, I that's a void there. And by that time, um, things had changed. I don't know why it really closed except for financial reasons. Now, if there were other social reasons for its closing, I don't know. I can tell you this, that it needed care, you know, needed fixing up. Uh, it was, uh, would have been quite a bit of money, and it all came under the same umbrella as the Grove Street. But Maybe it's because I've seen uh, things change so that when the Y was closed and the was was the the, uh, the uh, membership was open to everybody in Evanston, that was the thing to do. It was a different era, and I I um, and when that Emerson Street Y was built. Uh, I, I don't know what year it was, but surely it was built to serve the community within the social structure that they had at that time. So when you look at it like that, I think you're appreciative of the fact that the YMCA saw fit whatever year it was that it was built to build it and to maintain it and to hire staff because they surely hired some, uh, to my knowledge, some very good directors for the Emerson Street Y. Uh, and it was a focal point for loads of social activities uh, at one time. So I guess I, I look back on it as that we, this community was blessed to have had the Y here, the, y, the uh, Emerson Street Y at a time that they did. I, I think it was a very, very, not only was it a, um, not only did it take care of a need, but uh, at that time, blacks in the community only had the churches, uh, the Y. And so it really served a great need uh, when it was built and until it was closed. And it was closed at a time. It couldn't have been closed earlier because the times did not present that. The times didn't allow for that. So when it was time for them to make a, a decision to combine the two, uh, it was done. That's good. Mm -hmm.